Science and Technology in Uganda examines government efforts to develop a national innovation system and the impact of these policies. Topic: Socioeconomic context. Uganda is a low-income country. It has performed well economically since the start of the century, although growth 3.7% in 2013 seems to have been affected by the slow global recovery from the 2008-2009 financial crisis. In 2013, manufacturing contributed 10% of GDP, compared to 21% for industry as a whole and 25% for agriculture. Half of GDP came from the services sector. In 2012, Uganda's main exports were all agricultural products, unroasted coffee 30.6%, cotton 5.6% and tobacco 5.5%. In 2010, it spent less than 5% of GDP on agriculture, despite African countries having committed to the target of 10% when the African Union adopted the Maputo Declaration in 2003. They reiterated this goal in the Malabo Declaration adopted in Equatorial Guinea in 2014. In the latter declaration, they reaffirmed their intention to devote 10% of their national budgets to agricultural development and agreed to targets such as doubling agricultural productivity, halving post-harvest loss and bringing stunting down to 10% across Africa. However, African leaders meeting in Equatorial Guinea failed to resolve the debate on establishing a common standard of measurement for the 10% target. In 2014, Uganda was ranked 36th out of 52 countries on the Ibrahim Index of African Governance. Some 16% of the population had access to Internet and 44% a mobile phone subscription in 2013. One in four Ugandans had access to sanitation, 42% to improved water and 15% to electricity in 2011. The government spent 4.3% of GDP on health and 1.9% of GDP on the military in 2013. Inflows of foreign direct investment amounted to 4.8% of GDP in 2013. In 2013, the population was growing at a rate of 3.31% per year. In sub-Saharan Africa, only Niger 3.87% per year and South Sudan 3.84% recorded faster growth rates. Public expenditure on education amounted to 3.3% of GDP in 2012. Of this, 11% of GDP was earmarked for higher education. Uganda has achieved universal primary education but only one quarter of pupils attend secondary school 27% gross enrollment ratio in 2013 and 4.4% university. <laughs> Science policy framework Topic: National Science, Technology and Innovation Policy. The National Science, Technology and Innovation Policy dates from 2009. Its overarching goal is to strengthen national capability to generate, transfer and apply scientific knowledge, skills and technologies that ensure sustainable utilization of natural resources for the realization of Uganda's development objectives. The policy precedes Uganda Vision 2040, which was launched in April 2013 to transform Ugandan society from a peasant to a modern and prosperous country within 30 years, in the words of the cabinet. 
Uganda Vision 2040 vows to strengthen the private sector, improve education and training, modernize infrastructure and the underdeveloped services and agriculture sectors, foster industrialization and promote good governance, among other goals. Potential areas for economic development include oil and gas, tourism, minerals and information and communication technologies (ICTs). The National Council for Science and Technology falls under the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development. The council's strategic objectives include the rationalization of science and technology policy to boost technological innovation Enhancing the national system of research, intellectual property, product development and technology transfer Strengthening public acceptance of science and technology, and Upgrading institutional research capacity. The National Council for Science and Technology identified the following shortcomings in higher education in 2007. Very few science degree programs exist. Enrollment in basic sciences is negligible. Laboratories are generally scarce, under equipped, and obsolete. Very limited funding exists for capital or recurrent expenses for training in science and engineering. Almost all research funding comes from external donor sources, making it unsustainable and difficult to ensure a national research for development driven agenda. Despite the burgeoning enrollment, very little systematic attention is being paid to the development of domestic graduate education. Fewer than 500 professors in the entire country have PhDs and fewer than 10 new PhDs are awarded annually in sciences and engineering. Fee policies and lack of adequate infrastructure for science and engineering encourage the expansion of undergraduate programs in arts and humanities, resulting in a dwindling intake for courses in science and engineering and a general lack of interest in, and focus on, these areas. The universities and the general higher education, be it public or private, lack strategies to improve conditions for research. <laughs> <laughs> Millennium Science Initiative In 2007, the National Council for Science and Technology launched the Millennium Science Initiative 2007 to 2013, which was co-financed by the World Bank. At a time when the economy's formal sector was expanding rapidly and real investment was rising sharply, the Council considered that continued economic progress would require more and better use of knowledge and more and better qualified human resources for science and technology. To correct these shortcomings, the Millennium Science Initiative established a funding facility and an outreach program. The funding facility provided competitive grants through three windows Top-end research involving both senior researchers and graduate students The creation of undergraduate programs in basic science and engineering, and Support for cooperation with the private sector, which consisted in company internships for students and grants for technology platforms through which firms and researchers could collaborate on solving problems of direct interest to industry. The outreach program proposed a series of school visits by top scientists and researchers to change negative perceptions that deterred Ugandans from pursuing careers in science. A National Science Week was also established. In parallel, this second component sought to strengthen the institutional capacity of the National Council for Science and Technology and the Uganda Industrial Research Institute and, more generally, to improve policy implementation, evaluation and monitoring. Topic. 
Presidential Initiative on Science and Technology In July 2010, the Presidential Initiative on Science and Technology offered a further boost by creating a fund to foster innovation at Makere University over the next five years. When President Museveni visited Makere University in December 2009, he noticed that many undergraduate students had produced interesting prototypes of machines and implements and that PhD students and senior researchers were working on inventions with potential for transforming rural Ugandan society but that innovation was being held back by the lack of modern research and teaching laboratories. After the visit, he decided to create a presidential innovations fund endowed with 25 billion Ugandan shillings circa $8.5 million over five years to support innovation-related projects at the university's College of Engineering, Art, Design and Technology. The fund became operational in July 2010. It covered the cost of modernizing laboratories and the implementation of 10 projects at the university. It also financed undergraduate science and engineering programs, academia private sector partnerships, student internships, science policy formulation, and science popularization in schools and communities. By 2014, the projects had developed an academic records management system more than 30 internet laboratories illabs in the department of electrical and computer engineering a business incubator the center for technology design and development a center for renewable energy and energy conservation more than 30 innovation clusters for metal, salt, coffee, milk, pineapple, etc. Appropriate irrigation A vehicle design project the Kira -Ev car, which evolved into the Center for Research in Transportation Technologies Macapads, the only sanitary wear for women in Africa made from natural materials papyrus and paper, including for maternity use A community wireless resource center <laughs> Measures to promote innovation Innovation hubs Business incubation and innovation are being promoted by several Ugandan institutions, including the Uganda Industrial Research Institute and the Uganda Investment Authority. The latter is a parastatal agency which works in conjunction with the government to facilitate private sector investment. One of the authority's most flourishing sectors is ICTs. This sector has seen major investment in recent years to develop Uganda's backbone infrastructure network, which consists of fiber optic cables and related equipment, as well as mobile broadband infrastructure. Uganda has an innovation hub named Hive Colab, which was launched in 2010 by AfriLabs and is headed by Barbara Barungi. It serves as a collaborative space to facilitate interaction among technology entrepreneurs, web and mobile app developers, designers, investors, venture capitalists and donors. Hive Colab provides facilities, support and advice to members to help them launch successful startup enterprises. The hub offers a virtual incubation platform that is intended to assist entrepreneurial activity, particularly in rural areas. 
Its three program focus areas are ICTs and mobile technologies, climate technologies, and agribusiness innovation. Another incubator, the Consortium for Enhancing University Responsiveness to Agribusiness Development Limited, is a public private partnership which targets young innovators in the agribusiness sector with the goal of generating new enterprises and employment. This non-profit company was launched in May 2014 and is based at Makere University. In September 2013, the government launched a business process outsourcing incubation center at the Uganda Bureau of Statistics House. The facility can accommodate 250 agents and is run by three private companies. The Government of Uganda has targeted this industry to address youth unemployment and stimulate investment in information technology-enabled services. Prizes <inaudible> 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 Since 2010, two annual prizes have incentivized innovation in Uganda. The first are the Community Innovations Awards, a competition for mobile apps that encourages university students to innovate in the areas of agriculture, health and education. Each year since 2012, Orange Uganda, a division of France Telecom, has sponsored this prize. Since 2010, the Uganda Communications Commission has also organized the annual Communications Innovation Awards, which reward excellence in ICT innovation that contributes to national development goals. The prizes are awarded in several categories, including digital content, ICT for development, service excellence, business excellence and young ICT innovators. Topic: Research trends. Topic: Financial investment. Research funding climbed between 2008 and 2010 from 0.33% to 0.48% of GDP, according to the UNESCO Institute for Statistics. More than half of research expenditure came from abroad in 2010. The government contributed a further 21.9%, businesses 13.7%, higher education 1.0%, and private non profit organizations 6.0%. The business enterprise sector's share of research funding progressed from 4.3% to 13.7% between 2008 and 2010, and spending on engineering rose from 9.8% to 12.2% of total research expenditure. This progression occurred to the detriment of agricultural research, which shrank from 53.6% to 16.7% of total spending. Expenditure per researcher remained low in 2010, $85 in purchasing power parity dollars and amounted to just $7 per inhabitant. topic human capital enrollment in higher education rose from 92605 to 140087 between 2006 and 2011 in a context of strong population growth of 3.3% per year in 2011, 4.4% of young Ugandans were enrolled at university. These figures cover students enrolled in post-secondary non-degree programs, bachelor's, master's and PhD programs. The government invested 0.4% of GDP in higher education in 2012, 11% of public education expenditure. 
the number of researchers has climbed steadily over the past decade, even doubling between 2008 and 2010 in head counts from 1,387 to 2,823, according to the UNESCO Institute for Statistics. This represents a leap from 44 to 83 researchers per million inhabitants over the same period. One in four researchers is a woman. Topic: Research output. The number of scientific publications tripled between 2005 and 2014 to 757 a year, according to Thomson Reuters Web of Science Science Citation Index expanded. In 2014, Uganda had 19.5 publications per million inhabitants recorded in this international database. This places Uganda fifth in East and Central Africa for scientific output after Gabon, Cameroon, Kenya and the Republic of Congo. The average for Sub-Saharan Africa in 2014 was 20 publications per million inhabitants and the global average 176 per million inhabitants. Ugandan research focuses on life sciences. Kenya and South Africa count among Uganda's top five research partners. Between 2008 and 2014, Uganda's main collaborators came from the United States, 1,709 articles; United Kingdom, 1,031 articles; Kenya, 477 articles; South Africa, 409 articles; and Sweden, 311 articles. Topic: Regional Economic Communities. Topic: East African Community. Topic: Towards Economic and Scientific Integration. Uganda is a member of the East African Community EAC, along with Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda and Tanzania. The EAC's founding treaty of 1967 makes provision for cooperation among member states to develop science, technology and innovation. On 1 July 2010, the five EAC members formed a common market. The agreement provides for the free movement of goods, labor, services, and capital. In 2014, Rwanda, Uganda, and Kenya agreed to adopt a single tourist visa. Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda have also launched the East African Payment System. The EAC Common Market Protocol 2010 makes provision for market led research, technological development, and the adaptation of technologies in the community, in order to support the sustainable production of goods and services and enhance international competitiveness. States are to collaborate with the East African Science and Technology Commission and other institutions to develop mechanisms for commercializing indigenous knowledge and ensuring intellectual property protection. Member states also undertake to establish a research and technological development fund for the purpose of implementing the provisions in the protocol. Other clauses include Promoting linkages among industries and other economic sectors within the EAC community. Promoting industrial research and the transfer, acquisition, adaptation and development of modern technology. Promoting sustainable and balanced industrialization to cater for the least industrialized members. Facilitating the development of micro, small and medium-sized enterprises and promoting indigenous entrepreneurs, and 
promoting knowledge-based industries. On the 30th of November 2013, the EAC countries signed a monetary union protocol with the aim of establishing a common currency within 10 years. On 10 June 2015, the EAC, Southern African Development Community and the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa COMESA signed a tripartite free trade agreement. These agreements are part of a pan-African movement to create a free trade area and customs union in each regional economic community with a view to creating a pan-African common market by 2023 and an African economic community by 2028. Increasingly, regional economic communities are also driving regional scientific integration. The Inter-University Council for East Africa IUCEA was formally integrated into the operational framework of the EAC by the East African Legislative Assembly in 2009 through the IUCEA Act. IUCEA has been entrusted with the mission of developing a common higher education area by 2015. In order to harmonize higher education systems in EAC countries, IUCEA established the East African Quality Assurance Network in 2011, which is in the process of developing a regional policy and an East African Qualifications Framework for Higher Education. IUCEA also established a partnership with the East African Business Council in 2011 to foster joint research and innovation by the private sector and universities and identify areas for curricular reform. The two partners organized the region's first forum for academia and private firms under the auspices of the EAC in Arusha in 2012 and a second with the East African Development Bank in Nairobi in 2013. Topic: <laughs> Centers of Excellence in Biomedical Sciences. The East African Community EAC commissioned a study in 2011 which designated 19 centers of excellence from five EAC partner states. In October 2014, the 10th Ordinary Meeting of the EAC Sectoral Council of Ministers Responsible for Health selected five of these centers for first phase EAC funding, namely, the National Institute of Public Health Burundi, Rift Valley Technical Training Institute Kenya, University of Rwanda formerly the Kigali Institute of Science and Technology, Uganda Industrial Research Institute and Tasisi ya sa na na utamaduni bagamoyo Tanzania, complementing the EAC project, the African Development Bank AFDB approved bilateral loans in October 2014 amounting to $98 million to finance the first phase of its own East Africa's Centers of Excellence for Skills and Tertiary Education in Biomedical Sciences program. The AFDB project will contribute to developing a highly skilled labor force in biomedical sciences to meet the EAC's immediate labor market needs and support implementation of EAC's free labor market protocols. One potential area for growth is medical tourism. The first phase of the AFDB project will support the creation of specialized centers of excellence in nephrology and urology in Kenya, cardiovascular medicine in Tanzania, biomedical engineering and e-health in Rwanda and oncology in Uganda. During the project's second phase, a center of excellence will open in Burundi in nutritional sciences. The East Africa Kidney Institute will operate as part of the University of Nairobi and its teaching hospital, Kenyatta National Hospital. The other centers of excellence will be established at the University of Rwanda's College of Medicine and Health Sciences, the Uganda Cancer Institute and, in Tanzania, at Mahimbili University of Health and Allied Sciences. 
some 140 masters and 10 PhD students will benefit from the program, as well as 300 interns. The centers of excellence will be expected to collaborate with internationally renowned establishments to develop quality curricula, joint research, promote interuniversity exchanges and mentoring programs, and to give access to documentary resources. Topic: Intergovernmental Authority on Development. Uganda is a member of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development a regional economic community grouping Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Kenya, Somalia, Sudan and South Sudan. IGAD's flagship program for the period 2013 to 2027 sets out to develop drought resilient communities, institutions and ecosystems in the IGAD region by 2027. The six thrusts of IGAD's drought resilience program are natural resources and environment, market access, trade and financial services livelihood support and basic social services research, knowledge management and technology transfer conflict prevention, resolution and peace building, and coordination, institutional development and partnership Topic. Bilateral cooperation in science and technology Uganda is one of a number of East and Central African countries that have entered into bilateral cooperation agreements with South Africa in science and technology. Since 2009, Uganda has been developing cooperation with South Africa in the fields of biosciences, space science and technology, mathematics, energy, environment, climate change and indigenous knowledge. Topic: <laughs> Global Health Security Agenda. The Ebola epidemic in 2014 highlighted the challenge of mobilizing funds, equipment and human resources to manage a rapidly evolving health crisis. In 2015, the United States of America decided to invest $1 billion over the next five years in preventing, detecting and responding to future infectious disease outbreaks in 17 countries, within its global health security agenda. Uganda is one of these 17 countries. The others are, in Africa Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Côte d'Ivoire, Ethiopia, Guinea, Kenya, Liberia, Mali, Senegal, Sierra Leone and Tanzania, in Asia, Bangladesh, India, Indonesia, Pakistan and Vietnam. See also M. Barara University of Science and Technology Topic Sources This article incorporates text from a free content work licensed under CC by SAEGO 3.0 UNESCO Science Report towards 2030 499 to 533 UNESCO UNESCO Publishing to learn how to add open license text to Wikipedia articles, please see Wikipedia, adding open license text to Wikipedia. For information on reusing text from Wikipedia, please see the terms of use. <laughs>